one of the ghost stations on Merseyside. Upton Station is on the Borderlands line and has many ghostly experiences by locals. If you have had one on any station, let us know below. The station is relatively standard with two tracks and two platforms, but it has undergone many changes since it first opened in 1896. The station once had a booking office on the bridge that spanned the two tracks, as well as waiting rooms, but the office and the waiting rooms were demolished in the early 1970s, replaced with these new ones. Autumn, 2006. A 22-year-old was waiting in a southbound shelter, catching the train to shop. There was a downpour. There was no one else around, but combined with the hammering rain on the roof, he thought he heard a sigh close to his left ear. So he turned to see nobody. He looked forward across the tracks and caught sight of a dark outline of a figure standing on the opposite platform. He reasoned that the sigh he had heard came from that person. Sound does seem to travel further at night, but only in the still of the night. How could the sigh cut through the noisy downpour? He pondered the question, and he popped his head out of the shelter to check the departure board and to look along the tracks, hoping to see the lights of his train approaching. The track was empty. He was about to go onto the next track of his MP3 player, when suddenly he noticed the figure, who had been on the shelter on the opposite platform, had gone. Looking again for his train, as he turned he saw a man, well over six feet in height, dressed in all black. He ran out of the shelter, through the blinding rain, and didn't stop running until he was home. Years later, he saw a sketch of a ghostly man in black on Facebook. Seen nearby on Windermere Road, he held his phone in his hand with the image on, trembling. The sketch was made by a student named John, who had almost collided with this eerie figure one spring morning in 2003 as he went on his morning run at around 6am. John ran round the corner of Windermere Road that morning, ready to turn into Nocturum Avenue, when he was startled by a man in black, who seemed to be staring intently at the corner house. He ran off a little quicker than he normally would have on his morning jog. It was this memory that John made the sketch of and posted it on social media. This is what was seen on the station platform years earlier.